Under five minutes remaining here in this first half from American Legion Memorial Stadium. No goals so far between the Independence and the Triumph. Thanks for staying with us on this Wednesday evening. No goals either in Knoxville between one Knoxville and Madison. Good work there by Castro. And he finds a wide open Liam McKinnon from the penalty spot. And it's 1-0 Triumph. Out of completely nowhere, the visitors have taken the lead. Another look at it here. It was a lovely long ball. Duty, perhaps a little too casual. Beautiful body work by Castro. And then completely forgot about Liam McKinnon. Acosta was trying to get back. You can see Spielman putting his hands up saying, who was marking that man? And the answer was no one. And the triumph with a late first half goal. Kept pretty quiet. Just the two shots on target. There goes McKinnon again, feeling inspired. Back to Walker with a bad hamstring. He still gets a shot away and it's 2-0. Aaron Walker, bad hamstring and all as he points to it. He doesn't care. It's suddenly feeling a lot better and Green will have a 2-0 lead. His 13th goal in Greenville colors. And this time it's Lyon McKinnon with the assist. Lays it back to Walker. Had too much time and space. Some great movement on that ball. Austin Pack perhaps saw it late. Cross attempt is blocked and Pollock comes away with it. McKinnon. Skips past Alvarez. That's a lovely ball in for Castro. He's got the other side of Dewey and Coutinho's there to tap it home. Castro with another assist and a three goal lead for the triumph. And he gets a shoe shine from the Brazilian. They look to put this one away. It was a lovely ball to Castro. He just got a toe on it as Pack was committed. And another Greenville attacker left alone. This one a much easier finish than McKinnon's. Gonna have a substitute for the Jacks. Maybe on Flanagan will lead the thing. pitch. That's up in the Let's get to this corner minutes. first, though. It's a dangerous one headed and in. As the Charlotte players want the ball back from Mazzola, it's now 3 1. Here on the replay, see who got the last touch on it. It was Dane Kelly with the header. Certainly deserves a goal. He's had some chances tonight. Good reversal. Space from Kuri. Inside. Right foot. Fonseca has buried it. Pedro Fonseca makes it 1 0 Tormenta. Jackson Kuri with the left foot. Technically sound, gets it to Fonseca, who does not miss. And a 1-0 lead for the visitors. Starts with the great reversal. Kuri, one step, the takeaway, tight slot, and a better finish, cross Kane. Akale wins the challenge from Walefi. Now some space, long range, fire, and score! What a strike by Ryan Sarakowski! While it was Chattanooga buzzing and looking to equalize, instead it's Tormenta with a 2-0 lead here in the 58th minute. Oh, what a strike by Sarakowski! Lots of contact there, Akale strong on it. And then finding his space, Sarakowski 25 yards out and a banger of a goal, top corner to the near side, beating Ricardo Jerez. It's been all North Carolina continuing that trend of form. Anderson goes down. Still Anderson. Now we can show some pace. Anderson looking for Rafa. Rafa, he's on the end of it. And Rafa scores. You cannot blink. Anderson, Rafa, 1-0 North Carolina. Anderson goes down, but he recovers here and he uses that pace and look at the little pass into the stride of Rafa Mensingen and the dink pass north, as cool as you like, like the other side of the pillow, and it's 1-0 to North Carolina. Ball is set, Luis Perez. Yes, this one up and over, oh, Perez! The Frenchman strikes. 
What a beautiful free kick. North Carolina take a 2-0 lead. Lined it up and a brilliant free kick. North didn't have a chance. It was struck with pace. It was struck with curve.